Hi everyone, I'm Karina Gantis and I'm going to read a small excerpt from Road Rage which is number four of the uh, outlaw thrillers. Um, the back we have beautiful and scarred. Jem works in a supermarket living the safe life she has chosen after surviving a violent past running with a renegade motorcycle gang. Excitement beckons in the form of a handsome biker named Shep who introduces her to the rest of his legit racing club, Rage. Jem learns too late that Rage are no different from the animals she's escaped from, and the past and present are about to catch up with shocking and deadly results. A highly charged, action-packed ride, this book doesn't slow down. Voted top ten of female authors of biker fiction. That's little old me on the back. Okay. I hope you enjoy this little excerpt. Oh, and if you're easily offended, turn off now. It has violence and bad language. I was too comfortable. I knew things were going to turn to shit, and I was just waiting for that moment. It surprised me that it was Shep who threw the spanners in the works. Until then, he'd been a passionate lover, a good friend, and great company to be around. Although, after he moved in with me... I noticed his mood swings. I knew when to leave him alone and when he wanted to talk. I only had to look at his face when he walked through the door to know what kind of mood he was in. We were hanging out at the gesture, paying Paul and just chilling. Shep had been acting up again, so I kept my distance, as did the rest of the club. Two customers started arguing loudly. Then the row became violent and fists started flying. Rage stood on the sidelines and watched. I was leaning against a bar, chatting with Dawn, when suddenly she stepped away in time. Unfortunately, I got a fist in the face. I know it was an accident. I just got in the way. But that didn't stop Rage from jumping the guy. One major code between bikers is to look out for one another. If an outsider picks a fight with a patch, he picks a fight with the whole club. And as I found out, rage was no exception. Bree helped me up the floor and asked if I was okay. I didn't answer. I couldn't take my eyes off Shep. He was pounding this guy's face in and rage was just watching and didn't make any attempt to restrain him. As I went over, Bree held onto my arm and shook her off. Shep, leave him alone. It was an accident, I yelled. Shep turned round and slapped me across the face. I fell against the stall. Turbo came over and grabbed my arm. Leave it, Jem, he warned. I ignored him. For fuck's sake, what is the fuck is wrong with you? Turbo still had my arm in a tight grip when Shep rushed at me. I couldn't move. I saw him raise his fist, and I don't remember the rest. I came too disorientated, and it wasn't until I heard Doc's soothing voice that I remembered what happened. Shep had hit me. And not just once. Doc saw the fear. It's okay, Jem. He's not here. He's sleeping it off. Not at my fucking house, he isn't. He's staying with a brother. Doc told me gently. What the hell is wrong with that guy? I said, rubbing my bruised jaw. He'd been doing speed most of the night. I thought you knew. Speed always turns him violent. No, he didn't know. I said, feeling stupid, that I was living with a junkie and didn't even know it. He's been using speed most of the night. I thought you knew. You just need to know when to stay away from him. Yeah, that's what Turbo said. I think he was trying to warn me. Doc helped me off the floor and I sat on a chair and downed the brandy he held out to me. So what's going to happen now? I asked. With what? Doc asked, confused. With Shep beating up on me, what's Rage going to do about it? Bree walked away, leaving me with Doc. Nothing, he said. You what? I glared back at him. You telling me he can slap me around whenever he likes and nothing's going to be done about it? Doc shrugged. Well, don't expect me to lie down and take it, I yelled. Chatter in the pub stopped. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this dog? A member of the public accidentally punches a female patch so the club kits the shit out of him. 
but it's okay for the boyfriend to pound the fist into his bitch's face. I is that what I am? Shep's bitch? Is that all I'm worth? Doc didn't have anything else to say. Just having him holding my hand was enough. I was hurt, embarrassed and angry and I felt my emotions about to pour out. I thought you guys were different, but you're just like the animals that I escaped from. I got up and rushed out the bar. So if you want to read this exciting motorcycle thriller, you can buy it on Lulu, paperback and Amazon. Um, Sells is the discount for the ebook, or you can get it also from uh, Smashwords and uh, Amazon. Um, also, if you want a signed uh, paperback, I can sort that out for you as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I shall see you again soon. Bye bye.